went to my partner's house for spring break. And while I was there, we were getting all these updates about not being able to come back. And I was like, well, if I'm just going to come back in April, like there's no point in me flying home. So originally I was going to go back to my dorm and wait it out there. But then I got really freaked out about the prospect of a full lockdown and not being able to cook for myself. So I asked her family if I could stay with them and they said yes. So the plan was for me to stay until BU reopened. And then when BU didn't reopen, the plan was for me to stay for the rest of the semester because I wasn't super comfortable with flying home and being in a different time zone and also flying home during the pandemic. Freaked me out. So they let me stay with them. And then when summer rolled around, I was still freaking out about the prospect of flying during a pandemic. Um, also, I kind of, like, I had planned on staying in the city for the summer. And part of me is really stubborn and just didn't want to give that up and go home. So I asked my partner's family again if I could stay with them. And they are lovely, wonderful people and let me stay with them through the summer um, in exchange for, well, they didn't say in exchange for, but I offered to do a bunch of chores and did a bunch of chores. Um, they refused payment. I tried many times. <laughs> so it was really weird because I just like lived with a family that I knew, but like didn't know super well and I slept on a futon for six months in their living room. But it was also really nice because I was where I needed to be and I knew that I was safe and I still got to be in touch with my family and know that they were safe and that I wouldn't potentially expose them to anything by flying there. 